Okay, so a good walk around this uh, 1986-87, I think it's an 87, um, BMW M535i manual. Um, unusually finished in Arctic blue metallic. Uh, it's the first one I've seen uh, in this colour scheme, um, but it really suits it with um, full sort of beigey leather. Beige, I don't know. Um, I think it's beige leather, but unusually full leather and really, really lovely interior. Standard spec car, um, it's got a head and a wash wipe. Um, the only difference from standard spec, it's running on a 17 inch deep dish um, BMW split rim wheels, which are quite sought after in their own right actually. Um, all the M Tech body kits all in place. Uh, and so it's got sunroof, electric mirrors, electric windows, all the toys. Um, We'll go around it and point out the, uh, the good bits and bad bits. It's had a pair of uh, new front wings fitted to it, which is uh, good because normally they rust badly around here, but obviously being uh, relatively new, these ones haven't. Um, but apart from that, the paint looks to be, um, looks to be original. Uh, well, let's go around it. All the MTEP body kit at the front is good. The jacking point covers or the um, toe and eye covers are all in place, which is nice. Fog lamps are all good. Um, on the bonnet we've got a small little like a shadow here and a bit of lacquer loss just there but sort of a shadow in the paint just there whether that's been touched in or not I'm not sure um, but otherwise the bonnet's pretty good there was, was one other thing I did see just a bubble under the paint here on the corner of the bonnet the rust bubble just there hasn't really broken through just on the corner of the bonnet just there bear in mind so this is um, what 24 23 24 years old um, looking down the near side Pretty straight, there's a couple of minor parking dinks in the near side rear door that I can see, but we'll come on to those. Um, near side front wing, as before, has been, um, that's been replaced. There's a very, very, very tiny parking dink just there in the near side front wing, but otherwise very, very good. Um, near side front wheel is pretty good. Um, screen on the near side is all nice, no problems there. The roof, as I say, hasn't been repainted. Perhaps could do with it, I guess, but um, it's a, it, is, it is original. We've got some sort of uh, lacquer peel just here and a little bit on the sunroof, a few areas there, there, there and there. Some rust bubbling through just there on the edge of the roof. Um, on the back of the roof here, you may not be able to pick it up on the video, but it is quite crazed. Um, lots of crazing on the roof all around here, uh, crazing in the paint. Whether that means it's been repainted or not, I really don't know. I can't see any overspray or anything. It may just be just old, old paint, um, but whatever. There's crazing on the, um, on the roof around there. Um, near side door, all very, very good. It's not bubbling up at the bottom at all or anything. I'll show you quickly inside. The inside is really super on this. As that's unusual. Well, they haven't all got full leather. Once that's unusual, but they haven't all got full leather. That was optional on these. Uh, but this one's really good shape. Um, so just a couple of minor cracks in the dash top up there, but uh, as we said in the other video, if you want, we've got a brand new dash top which can come with the car. Um, headlining's all nice. A um, little bit of the Furflex trim I can see around the offside rear door has come slightly adrift. The, um, that's about it. But uh, all the door cards are all in great shape. Um, Centre console's good, all of that. Um, in the rear here, that's all spot on as well. Very, very nice leather. Looks like it's barely been sat in, really. Absolutely super. No problems there at all. Um, that's all good. Really good. <coughs> and the near side rear door itself is, uh, is in great shape. There's probably a tiny parking dink just there and a couple up there. Um, near side rear wing is all nice. No, uh, no issues there at all. Um, near side rear wheel lost a bit of its lacquer around here perhaps could do with that uh, with with relacquering um, all around the tail end it's all nice there that's all very very good indeed boot lid's good there is a bit of a couple of areas of paint loss just on the rear spoiler one there one there and one there and a tiny bit of bubbling under the paint just there but um that's about it but the boot lid apart from that is all good rear bumper is unusually straight they normally um go a bit wavy on these but that one's uh, very, very good indeed. Um, looking down the offside, very clean and straight down there. And if it lets it down a bit from the offside, the offside rear wheel has lost a lot of its lacquer, um, especially around the rim here. The, uh, the silver's disappeared completely. Really could do with a refurb, that um, offside rear wheel. Um, 
Offside rear quarter is good here, although the body kit has shrunk very slightly just there, the plastic, um, where it meets the wing. But uh, offside rear wing is all nice. There's a faint scratch just along there, from there to there on the near side rear wing. Um, but that's all good apart from that. The chrome's unusually nice as well. As I've mentioned on the roof, we've got a bit of crazing up there. And on this side of the roof, we've got a couple of bubbles of rust just poking up around here uh, on the sunroof itself. Um, offside rear door is all nice. As I say, the doors are remarkably rust free on it, really. Once again, interior on the offside here is um, first class for an older BMW, really. I not say it's concourse, but it's, um, it's just a nice, uh, nice leather interior. Offside door, all very, very, offside front door, all very, very good. That's all nice. Nothing to comment on, really, there. It's all good around the scuttle panel. And say so this offside front wing is splendid because it looks to be fairly new. Um, and the offside front wheel, once again, could do with a refurb, but the offside rear one is the, um, the one that really uh, is a bit lacking in um, a bit lacking in paint. If you look at it in this sort of light with the sun shining on it, you can see a very faint colour difference between the, where, the, where the, the front wings have been, uh, been replaced, but um, it's not overly noticeable. I suspect it's actually had the front wings and the bonnet done, uh, have been uh, repainted, excuse me. Um, very faint colour difference. Uh, in with, with, with the sun behind me, but um, you can't really see it from there, shall we say. Um, that's about it. I'll just show you the driver's seat and stuff, because that's in great shape as well. A little bit scuffed and a little bit cracked. Probably could do with a leather feed on it, but it is really nice. It's The bolster itself isn't um, split or anything like that. No splits in the bolster. That's all really good on the outer one. Um, so a bit scuffed on the inner bolster, but hasn't gone through. Uh, so unusually good. It really is. Centre console is nice. Stash is all good. Door cards are all good. Yeah, spot on. That's about it. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk.